Hello guys, if you look around yourself, you will find a lot of things around you is made out of steel. From a small pin, all the way to huge aeroplanes and big trains. From your blood, all the way to huge submarines. Everything consists of a very crucial element that is called iron. So any steel that you are looking is consist of a basic element called iron. So how does iron exist in the first place? It will be very surprising for you to know that actually iron starts its journey not from the earth. The journey begins all the way from the sun. The earth's core is actually made of heavy metal that is iron and nickel alloys. And you will be surprised to know lots of people ask me that iron melts at 1500 degrees Celsius and earth's core's temperature is way higher than that. That's right. Because inside earth's core temperature Iron is there in actually a molten form. Iron and nickel alloys are there in the molten, molten form. Journey of iron is actually very interesting. Iron's journey began from the sun. But how did it actually start? How did iron come into the existence in the first place on the earth? So to understand how iron is made, let's start our journey on how atom is actually made. Every atom consists of three basic things. Proton, Neutron and Electron. There is one Proton, one Neutron and one Electron that is called Hydrogen. Correct? So when two Hydrogen atoms combine, it forms Helium or Deuterium uh, depending on the conditions that has available on the environment around it. Process of combining two elements, combining two molecules together is called the process of fusion. As soon as you combine two nucleus or two nucleus inside, is gonna emit the energy outside so that process is called the nuclear fusion it is a very common process of how any atoms are formed big clouds of hydrogen collided due to their own gravity and they all came together attracted to each other because of the gravity of the hydrogen atoms in between them and just because of that pressure and temperature started increasing inside those clouds just to give you an example, consider you have a room full of balloons. At some point of time, you are going to experience uh, the room is completed and it's completely filled with the balloons. But if you still keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, what it will do is all the balloons at one point of time will push against each other. And that means it will start colliding against each other. And the pressure inside that would be immense that they will start colliding with each other and with that pressure they will start exploding they will start exploding so this is a very simple example of what actually started happening inside a vast cloud of hydrogen so as soon as those clouds getting close and close and close their gravity started getting more and more and more so their gravity started increasing and that started actually sucking more clouds into this gravity and that is exactly when this interesting phenomenon happened that is called the fusion the atoms in the center of the whole cloud started getting more and more and more pressure on it and those atoms started colliding with each other so when the hydrogen atoms started fusing with each other what happens is they emit the energy and create a new atom and that will create an energy outside so hydrogen is now become heavier now it, because hydrogen has just one proton and one neutron now it, it will form into helium that will that will have two neutron and two electron and two proton in this process of fusion once all the hydrogens get used up then they start fusing heavier elements so from hydrogen it becomes helium so when all the hydrogen inside the core of the star is used up then they have enough heat and temperature and the pressure to build a new particle called helium and just because of the heat of helium and the pressure it can further get fused into the into the carbon and that carbon get further infused to oxygen nitrogen and so on so this process keeps happening as long as you form the metal called iron iron is the last naturally occurring element on this fusion because after that there is no more energy left Iron is so heavy that it is very hard to fuse two iron elements into something else. And that is how the process of getting the iron in the world started. So the element inside your body, iron, which is a crucial element for the blood, actually started forming in the universe. So when 
the star is making any formation of planets. The star spreading out all the hot elements like iron out in the cloud. Similar cloud made out of all these elements were forming together. So that cloud came together just because of the gravity. They came together and became a solid surface. So that is actually how the core of the earth is made. Just because iron is a heavier metal than usual, the core of the earth is where most of the iron goes into. But as soon as different natural uh, phenomena occur, and also there is some oxygen and the other elements available because of this fusion, Earth started having an environment which helped in cooling down the Earth. While it was on a gaseous state and then it started being cooling down, the heavier metal, heavier elements like iron and nickel went all the way into the core of the earth and then it started going out with lighter element outside and that is why if you see the crust of the earth you will find 21 percent of the crust has iron so it is very interesting to see how all the explosions that happens into the star is actually the reason behind the iron inside your car or iron inside your body and how to separate iron from the crust of the earth on my this video but if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe.